So Procreate is a really powerful app, but in order to use it to its full potential, you need to know some basic gestures. And in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you, all the basic gestures, but I'm also going to throw in some pro tips and some more hidden features that will definitely help you improve and speed up your workflow. Hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve and my goal here on this channel is to teach you all about illustration and design. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly videos and so that you can join our wonderful creative community. And with that said, grab your drawing tools and let's get started. So the very first gesture you absolutely need to know is how to zoom in and zoom out. So for that, you'll need two fingers. And I like to use the index and the thumb because basically you're going to do a pinching motion in or out and the image is just going to follow your fingers. So you can see, you can zoom in, zoom out and you can also rotate your image by rotating your fingers. So it's super customizable and really quite intuitive. If you want your image to fill in the screen as much as possible, all you have to do is pinch really quickly. So that way you get to see your full piece, everything you're working on, everything that is on your canvas. If you want to hide the interface, also super easy, just use four fingers and tap. And you can see the interface automatically disappears and if you want to bring it back, you just have to press on this little button here at the top. So for the basic controls, I'm just going to start by sketching a really quick smiley face so we have an idea of what we're doing. Let's say I don't like the mouth, I can undo with just tapping two fingers. If I decide that, oh, I did like the mouth, I can redo with three fingers. So undo two fingers and redo three fingers. Now there are a bunch of copy and pasting options in Procreate. So I'm just gonna draw a selection real quick. I use the selection tool, set it into freehand. And then if you drag three fingers downwards, you're gonna get this copy and paste menu with a bunch of options like cut, copy, copy all, duplicate, cut and paste, etc. So let's say I click on duplicate, it's going to create a copy of my smiley face. And if I have the arrow tool selected, I can move it around. Also, when you have the arrow tool selected, you can obviously use the blue little handles to resize your selection. You can also use the green handle to rotate it, but you can also use your two fingers on the selection to resize it and rotate it. So when you have a selection, if you use your two fingers on that selection, it's not going to zoom in or zoom out the entire canvas. It's going to actually change the size and the angle of your selection. And if for some reason you decide that you don't like what's on your layer, you can quickly clear the entire layer by just kind of swishing three layers, three layers, three fingers on your screen. And you can see the reason it only erased one smiley face was because when you use the duplicate option, it creates a copy on a second layer. So you can see here again, when I erase, it only erased one of the smiley faces because it was on separate layer. And one of my favorite things about Procreate gestures is the ability to create perfect shapes. So let's say I want to draw a circle around my smiley face. If I hold my pencil, you can see it's going to kind of create a perfect ellipse that I can resize and re-angle as long as I keep my pencil on the screen. Then if I come in with a second finger, it's going to create a perfect circle. And just make sure that you release your second finger first, otherwise sometimes it doesn't work quite as well. And you can see you have this little option that pops up at the top, edit shape, in which you can kind of select if you want a circle or an ellipse, and then you have some handles on your shape that you can move around. So you can kind of tweak your shape that way, and it's really easy, super quick, super fun, and super helpful. And once you're done with your shape, you just tap anywhere else on your canvas, and this option is going to disappear. And this kind of perfect shape technique works for a bunch of different shapes. So you can create a line, you can create you know, a triangle, a rectangle, a square. So experiment, there are a bunch of shapes that you can use this technique with. So just draw a shape, hold your pencil, tap with a second figure or not, and see what happens. And guys, if you've watched this far in the video, please go ahead and write copy and paste in the comments below. I know it sounds crazy, but it helps me create better tutorials because I get a lot of insight into how to paste and edit my videos better, so I get to create better content for you. And that's also really cool because you guys know me, but I don't know you. So whenever you leave a comment, I get to see your name, your face, or username, and it's just really so cool to see the wonderful creative community that we're building here on this channel. So go ahead and comment copy and paste, and we'll keep going. So without getting into too many details about layers because this tutorial is about just gestures, keep in mind that the layer that is at the top 
of your layer panel. So the first one in the list is going to be the one that is kind of at the top of your stack of papers. So layers, think of them as just a bunch of paper sheets stacked on top of each other. Okay, so we're at the layers now, which is when it's getting really interesting. So if we open the layer panel, which is this icon here at the top, you're gonna see all the layers that I have in my illustration. So we have the first one at the top, which is from selection, which is when we duplicated our smiley face earlier. And if you swipe your layer towards the left, it opens these three options, so lock, duplicate, and delete. Lock means you won't be able to change or draw anything on your layer. Duplicate is going to create a copy of your layer, and delete is going to delete your layer. You can also use two fingers to squish layers together, which is going to merge them into one. You can do that with two layers or multiple layers. And by the way, the layer that is selected, as you can see, is highlighted in blue. So you can just tap on layers and it's going to select them. Nothing more complicated than that. You can also select multiple layers by swiping them towards the right this time. So you can see just like this and the secondary layers are going to be in a darker highlighted blue. Once you have multiple layers selected, you're going to have delete and group at the top. And if you click group, you can see it creates a group <laughs> with all your layers. So that's a really great way of organizing your file. There's another really cool thing you can do with layers and gestures. So if you just select a single layer, I'm gonna go and select the lights. If you tap with two fingers on that selected layer, it's going to open the opacity slider as you can see here. And if you just slide your fingers from the left to the right on your screen, it's going to change the opacity. So that's a really cool tip to add in your workflow because it's super easy, super quick, and it helps kind of blend your layers together. Another really helpful workflow tip, probably my favorite, is let's say I go ahead and create just a circle real quick so that we can see, da, 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 da. again using the perfect shape tool or technique I should say, then fill it in by dragging my color into the shape. If I go back to my layer, I can just use two fingers and swipe my layers towards the right, which is going to create alpha lock. You can see if we tap on the layer, it is activated here, but you can just activate it again by swiping two fingers towards the right. And what alpha lock is really quickly is basically everything you're going to draw on this layer now is going to stay within the shape that was already on the layer. So you can see my <laughs> pink little scribbles stayed in the circle that I created. You can also quickly select the content of a layer. For example, here, the content would be the circle by holding two fingers on your layer and you can see it just selects everything. So in Procreate, the selection is what is not covered in little diagonals. If I go in with my girl here, for example, hold two fingers, you can see it selected the girl and everything that is not the girl is just covered in diagonals. So that's super helpful when you have a more complicated shape that is on an individual layer and you want to select it. Well, you can just hold your two fingers on that layer and that's it. And I have two more tips for you, but they're probably the most helpful. I know I keep saying that, but they're just so helpful. Um, if you want to duplicate multiple layers, so you know when you swipe one layer towards the left, you can duplicate one layer. If you want to duplicate multiple ones, you swipe them towards the right to select them, and then you just drag them over your canvas. You can see it's gonna have this little plus icon, and you can see it just duplicated them and put them at the top of your layer panel. And probably the most mind-blowing thing, I'm just going to undo real quick. If you have your same multiple layers selected and you want to duplicate them but in a different canvas, just drag them on your screen again and with a second finger, go tap on gallery here at the top. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to open and then you just simply tap on a second canvas you want to import everything in and you can see you're gonna have the option to just drop your layers and they're gonna be duplicated. Sometimes they do fall out of order but you can just rearrange them by dragging them on top of each other, basically. And I know digital art might seem a little bit overwhelming when you first get started, so I've created a playlist with everything you need to know when you get started. So just click on the link right here and I'll meet you there.